I guess the first thing that you got to do when you're trying to be compassionate with yourself is to actually pay attention to the things that you are telling yourself internally and also the way that you treat yourself. Because the way that we treat ourselves comes from some sort of thoughts or some sort of predominant feeling state. So if you're never taking care of yourself physically, for example, you might be repeating something in your mind like, oh, it's not worthwhile. It doesn't matter. You're not that important. And once you figure out what it is that you're telling yourself as a constant message, you need to actually tell yourself something else. And you can do this by looking in the mirror and having a conversation with yourself. You can do this through journaling. You write yourself messages. I've had clients who will send themselves emails or, or um, record loving messages about healthier things that they can think of, of of saying to themselves. And then they'll keep listening to these messages. The thing is you have to direct newer beliefs and um, loving energy towards yourself, towards the wounded parts of yourself. Also, if it seems impossible for you to tell yourself anything nice, that's kind of the point. That's kind of your mind telling you that this is the sort of exercise that you really need to focus on. Now, if you don't want to say anything like, oh, I love myself so much, I deserve such great things. If you don't believe it, if you think it sounds really cringy and it's not something that you can embrace, you can start with just questioning your cognitive distortions. Oftentimes, we have very extremist views of reality that make us unhappy. Things such as, I will always be excluded. All people um, are shit or all people want to hurt me. Well, when you start questioning your cognitive distortions, even if you don't say things like, well, that's not true. You can have wonderful relationships in the, pu in the future. You can question whether it really is 100% of people who are going to treat you that way. 100% of people are going to abandon you. Just this questioning of the distortions can be a beginning in self-compassion.